Hi reception. <clears throat> Welcome to story time. Today we're going to carry on reading our story Captain Pug by Laura James and we're going to read chapter two because we read chapter one yesterday didn't we and we met Pug and Lady Miranda and Footman Leo and Footman Will. I wonder what's going to happen today. Chapter two. Don't we look smart? Captain Pug, Lady Miranda asked. Pug's head bobbed up and down. He might not he might have been agreeing with her, or it might may have been because the because of the bumpy ride. It was hard to tell. He and Lady Miranda were heading to the boating lake in the seedon chair, carried by running footman Will and running footman Liam. Pug was worrying that he hadn't eaten enough jam tarts at breakfast. He was also finding the ride in the seat and chair rather uncomfortable, but not as uncomfortable as his companion. This is the seat and chair. It's funny, isn't it? You're putting on weight again, complained Lady Miranda as they arrived at the lake. Running footman Will and running footman Liam dropped the seat and chair with a clunk. In their opinion, both passengers were putting on weight. Lady Miranda emerged from the seat and with Pug under her arm. Pug eyed the water suspiciously. A lot of children had gathered for the party. Some were putting on life jackets and others were already on the pedalos having fun. Lady Miranda spotted a pedalo she liked the look of. It was bigger than the others and pink. It was also stranded in the middle of the lake. The children on board were waving to them. Can you see? That looks fun, doesn't it? They're waving for help, exclaimed Lady Miranda, putting Pug down and pointing to the pink pedalo. Leon, Will, you've got to rescue them. The running footmen were only too pleased for the chance to call off. They stripped down to their long johns and belly flopped into the water, accidentally splashing Pug. Oh dear, he thought, having a good shake. I really don't like the water. In fact, it was worse. Pug was afraid of the water. How can I be a good captain for Lady Miranda if I'm afraid of a boating lake? He wondered sadly. When Pug felt sad, he often got hungry. And just then, his little nose detected some food close by. Sure enough, next to a parked up tourist bus, there was an unattended picnic camper. Pug went over to take a closer look. Only a look, though, he told himself. He knew that Lady Miranda would be very cross with him if he took anything without permission. Do you think he's going to manage to just look? The picnic hamper certainly had a lot of good stuff in it. There were plenty of sandwiches, sausage rolls, crisps and chicken drumsticks, as well as a quiche. Some salad, which didn't interest him. And several things in jars with labels that he couldn't read. But where were the jam tarts? Pug didn't want the owner of such a picnic to be disappointed at pudding time, so he climbed in to take a closer look. As he scrambled in, the lid shut behind him. <gasps> oh, can you see his curly tail? It was dark inside the hamper. It was so dark that he couldn't tell what was what. Crumbs, thought Pug. How will I ever find the jam tarts? Then he had an idea. I could take an ever so small bite of each thing to check if it's a jam tart or not. That would be helpful. Pug decided he would do his best. He took his time and was very thorough. In fact, he was taking things so seriously that he didn't notice when the picnic camper was picked up and carried onto the bus. He wasn't distracted by the chattering passengers taking their seats, nor did he hear the doors of the bus close. Uh oh. 
It wasn't until the bus driver started the engine that Pug noticed that something was wrong. He lifted the lid of the hamper in a hurry. Ah! screamed the lady next to him. There's a Pug in my lunch! Ah! screamed Lady Miranda. There's my Pug in that bus! Pug put a sticky paw on the window and pushed his nose up against the glass. Can you see him? That's the end of chapter two. We'll carry on reading our story tomorrow and read chapter three and find out if Lady Miranda can be reunited with Pug because Pug's on the bus and Lady Miranda isn't. Okay, I'll see you all really soon. Bye.